Pandemonium by Jake Stratton Kent being a discordant concordance of diverse spirit catalogues. It's exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, it is a list of spirits with their concordances. <laughs> I've opened it up on a, a particularly dry looking page but this book is everything and anything but dry. Uh, so uh, it is a, a catalogue of spirits giving their appearances in various grimoires and then uh, Jake Stratton Kent's thoughts on the, um, uh, the reasons why there were differences between the sources and uh, some extracts from the sources. This is very much Jake Stratton Kent's style. If you've read anything else by him, maybe his um, uh, his uh, uh, Encyclopedia Goetica uh, from the Scarlet Imprint, um, uh, you, you'll probably know what his books are actually like. Um, and and this is no no different, right? Um, <clears throat> there are some fantastic introductions. Very, very interesting, where I learned all about the um, reasons why the word subluna is used uh, to describe the spirits of, uh, or rather the infernal spirits of uh, the grimoires. And, uh, and I was very interested to read his thoughts on why uh, the, uh, well, why so many of the grimoires seem to not be uh, sublunar, although he argues that those solar-based grimoires may have had sublunar origins just changed to suit the, um, uh, the, the, the gentleman collector, as he calls them, um, uh, which makes very good sense, right? Um, but uh, yeah, uh, the, the, this, this sublunary worlds, um, I think that uh, that was probably my greatest takeaway was his fantastic explanation of what all that was about, how it all works, where it all came from. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I haven't described it all for you right now. <clears throat> I've, I've just given, I've just <laughs> scratched the surface. Um, I was also interested in this Livre des Esperites, which um, I had never heard of. Um, this is kind of one of the things about to Jake Stratton Kent's work in general, actually, maybe a little less so in his latest book, um, uh, which was the, uh, the 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 Night School uh, Volume One, uh, the, the the Sworn and Secret uh, Sworn and Secret Grimoire, um, uh, which kind of is okay for uh, uh, for, for beginners, I I believe, uh, but it all most of his other work kind of assumes that you know at least have heard of uh, um, the, the, the best known grimoires at least. Um, uh, but um, not only that, but he kind of assumes that you know a little bit about the library system, a little bit about the manuscript system, a little bit about um, uh, uh, the way grimoires weren't uh, uh, I mean, and, and this isn't obvious for, for people who <laughs> haven't been studying this for a little bit, right? That all the grimoires with the same title won't necessarily have the same contents because they were manuscripts, right? And um, the people writing them out uh, copy by copy uh, weren't necessarily copying them verbatim, right? They, 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 they were copying them... Um, uh, adding their own source to it, uh, <laughs> uh, if, if, if I can make that um, metaphor. Um, uh, the outcome is that, yeah, there are lots and lots of different um, different kind, di different spelling of source, right? Uh, uh, lots of different sources, lots of different grimoires, and each grimoire has got different spellings, they've got different um, uh, just, just slight differences, and he goes through every single spirit and gives us those uh, original sources and those um, uh, differences between the sources and his thoughts on where those differences might have come from and so on and so forth. It's so complete. Uh, uh, it's an it's 
and it's also a delight to read. It's also really, really fun to read. Uh, he's, uh, he's got this very, um, very attractive style, uh, but again, not necessarily one that I could recommend to someone who's not already very, um, uh, very, very, in, very familiar, very in touch with the grimoire genre. Okay, uh, let me show you uh, uh, the thing that I like the most about this is, look at this, and uh, uh, I, I won't mention again the other book <laughs> which does not have this, and uh, it, it, which um, uh, if, if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you know exactly which book I'm talking about. Another book of tables, uh, which uh, has a an absolutely unworkable index, but this is absolutely perfect. You get the name of the spirit that you wanted and all the pages on which that spirit appears, whether it's in the text or in a table or wherever. And that's exactly what you want from a book like this, right? Um, the uh, introductions are exactly what you need from a book like this. They give you a, um, a, a, a way in, which is, which is perfect. Uh, there are many different introductions. There's actually a, a full grimoire given here, the, the, this Livre des Espirites. Um, uh, which gives gives us uh, uh, just a, a list of spirits, and after all, this is a uh, a, 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 a concordance of diverse spirit catalogues. So many different catalogues of spirits that have been brought together here in the ultimate catalogue of sublunar spirits. There we are. Uh, here is the table of contents, as I was uh, showing you already. Um, the, um, uh, the, 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 the introductions here are very interesting. Uh, and then we've got these catalogues in three different parts. LBA being uh, uh, Lucifer, Beelzebub, uh, and um, uh, Astaroth uh, versus Lucifer, Beelzebub, and Satan being the other uh, option for the, um, for the uh, ruling trinity, right? Uh, the ruling uh, infernal trinity, um, uh, and then you've got the the various um, uh, spirits who uh, uh, are hierarchically uh, beneath those uh, ruling spirits, dip, uh, depending on the grimoire that you're reading and so on. So very very nice, uh, very very interesting, very very important for. Uh, today's world, which is clearly uh, becoming more and more interested in those grimoires. And actually, Jake Stratton Kent's emotion on that comes across quite regularly, maybe not, not very regularly, but, uh, but yeah, if you know to look out for it, it certainly does come across. He does decry, he's He's, yeah, he's clearly sorry uh, to see the state of uh, the magical world, uh, at least at the time of, of writing, though. Uh, if you follow him on social media, I'd, I'm not sure that that's changed much. Um, uh, and yeah, I think he would like to see a, um, a, a greater emphasis on the spirits themselves rather than on the... Um, the the, 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 the hobby, right? Which is kind of what my channel is really all about, right? About collecting these beautiful books and um, so on and so forth. So uh, uh, just, uh, just in, in the spirit of that, I'll show you that this is a print-on-demand book uh, and you won't be getting it for the beauty of the book itself, but for the beauty of what's written inside. Um, this is uh, it's a mass market book which is available through all the usual mass market channels um, and uh, and uh, all, all the better for it because it's uh, it makes it available more readily more permanently and uh, and at a at a reasonably accessible price so so there we are um, those are my thoughts on this, uh, on this fantastic book, Pandemonium. Um, I think that if you're interested in infernal spirits at all, 
uh, whether you intend to actually work with them or not is completely beside the point. Although, of course, if you do intend to work with them, this is um, uh, not something that you can miss out on. But I think that if you're interested at all in Infernal Spirits, then yeah, this is uh, a book for 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 you. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed the review. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you very soon with another video. Take care. Bye-bye.